treating hydrogen sulfide dominant SIBO is a whole other beast. And the way you might see that is on a normal SIBO test that just tests hydrogen and methane, you might see a flat line curve. And so what I like to do is dig deeper and run a stool test and look for species and overgrowth such as desulfovibrio, fusobacterium, and also the food plan for hydrogen sulfide is different. It's gonna be lean more towards um, fish and fowl and poultry as opposed to red meat and more vegetarian and the cruciferous vegetables are gonna be severely limited as well as onions and garlic because they contain sulfur and that can exacerbate hydrogen sulfide symptoms. So it's good to test so we know what we're, we're treating and not treating. And with that, armed with that knowledge, we can make really informed treatment decisions and target what's going on as opposed to just guessing or giving everybody the same antibiotic. So it's, knowledge is powerful and it's good to know.